All right. How are we doing? Okay. Uh, not the not the keyboard for this one. Uh, controller. Yay. All right, let's get into the ship and look at those logs. Whoa. What's a pre-flight checklist? What does that even mean? Oh, huh? Oh, it's not it's not a pre-flight checklist. It's um it's a little in-game settings menu. <laughs> I like the manual jetpack boost, because even though I forget to do it sometimes, it still gives me better control. I like that. Translator auto equip. I don't ever need the translator unless there's translatable text. Keep it on auto. Freeze time, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Not while talking to others, though. Oh, but if you freeze time while talking to others, it prevents character animations. That's funny. We're fine. We're fine with those settings. That's cool. We unlocked a lot of stuff down here. Port explore here. Huge amount of my city. Anglerfish fossil. There's a city <clears throat> of Black Hole Forge. Oops, I don't think I was done. Large solar panels on Amber Twins Equator. There's more to explore in the Ashland Towers. See, I figured. It almost feels like with the twins, you want to... Black Hole. Oh, Black Hole Forge would be in the Burl Hollow. Oh. With the twins, you almost want to explore the Ember Twin first, and then the Ash Twin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's get back over here to Brittle Hollow, I believe. Because one of these said... There's more to explore Whitehall Station. Yeah, makes sense. Alright, uh, there it is. Pilot. Let's see if this works. This is actually working really good. I want to. I want to just. Is it gonna land me? No, it's not. Okay, but from here, I can land. Oh. That's great. It's very fun. Okay. Because I know there's more down here in these little settlements. And I, I definitely have read all these. Oh, God! I read these last week when we were doing it. Yeah. 
So it's kind of annoying that it it unmarks them as red. Yeah, all these things. There's stuff to explore here. And now I can't even tell where I've been before. Because it it marked all of my messages as on red again. Which I can't say that I'm a fan of. Yeah, this is just kind of the recap of what happened. They saw the signal about the eye of the universe, chased it, crashed, that whole thing. One thing I've realized that I need to kind of look out for too is some of those little glowing rocks on the walls that let you walk on walls. There's like clues to to where to platform. Oh yeah, it's another RAP. Bellatrix, you can't be up here. Come on. <laughs> See, this is what the Hard Space Shipbreaker needs, is some trees that I can just bring with me. And I'll just bring the trees with me into the into the ships, and then I'll never have to worry about going back for oxygen ever again. Yep, we've seen those. This details what the pictures actually are. Actually, if if uh, the Nomai are uh, plant themed, so to speak then it makes additional sense that their um, written language is branching. Like the way they write sentence, their sentence structure. Oh yeah, like these, these guys up here. That's a walk on the ceiling, Pelix. Oh, oh! Thought we didn't notice, but we did. Okay, how do I how do I get there? I need to get up top again. I'm almost out of gas. Cause I probably boosted too much. I'm sure that goes through more fuel. Okay, we're going straight for this. We're going to walk our way over. Oh, hearts are falling. Son of a bitch! Where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. Don't believe anyone's coming to save us, Thatch. We must save ourselves. I agree, we're here because I signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive but thrive. This is a wise point, Bloom. An eloquently made, and moving to Northern Glacier will keep us safer. That's what we should do. We should migrate to Northern Glacier. What if we use gravity to ourselves to craft a stable path? Not anymore. Excuse me, building beneath crust again would shelter us from volcanic moon's eruptions. Alright, well, shit, this broke. It's 
pretty cool, though. Oh, no. Can I go for this? No. Can I go here? That was sick. I just slingshotted around the black hole. Right to What's-His-Face's camp. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Here we are. Oh, cool. Any cities this way. Oh, and we're on top of this bridge thing now. I don't know if I'm thinking with portals, but I'm definitely learning how to play this game better. I'm trying to just like boost myself a little bit just to get speed. I'm using too much. What is this? Black Hole Forge District, Eye Shine District, Meltwater District, School District. Okay, okay. So that is Meltwater District down there. Also Meltwater District. What do we want? Maybe I Shine. I Shrine, not I Shine. Black Hole Forge. Okay. This is this is cool. This is cool. This is a thing. We found a thing. Next time we gotta find it faster. Black Hole Forge controls? Yes, please. You're a dead tree. You're dead to me. Black Hole Forge controls. Ah. Oh. I did I did something. Come on, Bellatrix. Oh, that's the Black Hole Forge up there. Okay. Alright. That feels like like a step one of a thing. Next time we gotta hit, get here faster before, uh, you know, planet really starts falling apart. Oh, no, I need that back in. Put that back in. Ashburn Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? I don't know. You gotta make it. Yeah. Story time. Solution two, we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by Vessel's warp core. Abandoning the Vessel's warp core in its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It'd be best if we learn, I think. I'd very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe Black Hole Forge crew and I could redesign basic, could create, recreate basic design. Redesign the basic design. Uh, this is the safest path for our clan. The safest path is the best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Is it, though? I know I dropped the accent, but I don't want to deal with it right now. Is it that we've tried so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find? If the search for the eyes of fuel I want, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was an apprentice to Inanna, who created the original design, and our black hole forged an adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be used here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anana explained many of his designs to me. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of exposition and wasting time for the sun to explode. <laughs> oh god, and here is here is last scroll. Solution one, retrieve warp core from vessel. To require a return of Dark Bramble. Plume, my father. Said many good know my parish there. 
Mentor Cola says his old mentor was discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil in Amber Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Okay, so anglerfish was a bad thing. What Melori and her, I learned from fossil could theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. I remember that fossil. We used to play in fossil fish cave when we were children. Vessel's warp core is broken, and at best, recall those present when the vessel crashed, said it sustained lethal injuries. Oh, not and at best, just at best. There's no guarantee reward for this risk. Perhaps we still repair it. My grandmother told me there's little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Oh, one more. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint. Red Rebel Transport. Okay, so. Got it. They're like, well, could we just use the, the one we got? And they said, no, it's probably broken. Let's make a new one. And they said, yeah, cool, we can do that. Oh, shit. How do stairs work? There we go. I feel strange trying to recreate Anoda's warp core without him. At times, still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and the Black Hole Forge to be in my care, not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him is short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have a chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Nota's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can do is my best. As Nota would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we have to find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion Root in the forge, but, and I have my clan. I am not alone! Whoa, there we go. What, what do you do? You go up. What, what, what is that? Is that like my face clipping through the camera there? It's kind of weird. Oh, am I coming up underneath the dome here in the north? Is that what's going on here? Definitely in the northern pole. Oh, I'm at a pole. I think this is the northern pole. Interesting. Nope, it's the, the other one. It's the wrong, wrong pole. Alright, but here's how you get into the Hanging City quickly. That's cool. And I think I might have been able to do that from the start, but I didn't know that it existed. Pretty sweet. Okay, so that leads us up and out. This is the Black Forge, Black Hole Forge controls. We need to get, we need to get over like to that sort of stuff. And I don't. Oh, yes, I do. to step off I have to like there we go cool so we're here in I already forgot school district yeah Looks like ghost stuff. Oof. So many ways to fall off and die. It's not dying. It's like really not dying, but I don't want to I don't want it to happen.
Okay. I feel like I just uh, opened like a shortcut. Ow. This game loves obscure shortcuts. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that feeling here. Okay, so we have a scroll. Now we just need a scroll hole. All right, well, let's do this first. Explanation of festivals. All know my clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all Nomai get to advance. Two. <laughs> like on Nono's Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Bellatrix, you're just right in the way. Each clan has festival envoy to show most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. See, Thatch, another plant-related name. A single festival could last a day or last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. All right. Formation of universe. No one knows how universe was made, but the one thing we do know, everything used to be very hot and very dense. The universe used to be a himbo. As early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Planets is a fun word to say in that accent. Planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day stars and life they support will all die. It's scary to think about even though Conroy tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, so this led us here. Mm -hmm. We came from there. Alright, got it. That is the Black Hole Forge controller. Right? I think so. It looks like it. I thought it was in a different place. Yeah, yeah, because there's a black hole forge there. Okay, cool. So how do I... No, how do I... Where Where do we go? Oh, oh, lord. What the fuck happened there? I hit, I hit a... Oh! <gasps> oh. Oh. Got it. Oh god, oh god, okay, momentum. Momentum's like one of my biggest enemies in video games. This is pretty cool. Oh, this is that, oh, I don't want to go this way. This is that pathway that they were talking about how to get to the Hanging City. It's like I built this pathway under the crust. And then as soon as I learned about it, like it fell and I couldn't use it anymore. So that's great, okay. No, come on, come on. There we go. I think I'm just going down now so I can just do this. I should stop doing that. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have a... Uh... Oh, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have made the Black Hole Forge go up. Ow. 
in, 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 in. Okay, so one thing that I could conceivably do is... Uh, shit, I still don't know what the projection stones functionally do. But on a future loop, I could rush to Brittle Hollow, get myself Black Hold, um, grab this stone, get back to the ship, fly to the twins, and use the stone there and see what happens. Conceivably. Is there a place to, to plunk this somewhere? Oh, and this uh, pops up out of Hanging City. Oh, oh, hold on. I know there's a there's a there's a secret secret door somewhere here for Hanging City. It was, I think it's in, in a glacier somewhere, and I could see these from it. Hmm. Should pay better attention. Not that way. Oh, no. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I just, I just can't not get myself in a black hole. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Shoot. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. <laughs> I know, all my fuel's gone because I'm bad at jetpacks. I get it. No! <laughs> It's rotating. I know. I know it's currently like spinning around the same axis that the door is in. There we go. That shouldn't have been that difficult, but oh well. Oop, that's up. Go down. Well, that was just like perfect timing, and there we go. Right back where we started from. Just in time to watch the sun explode. It's okay, we're just uh, taking our time here. Exploring a bit. Could have grabbed that fuel over there. It's okay. You'll never get me alive! <laughs> I'm stuck on the black hole, or the white hole. Almost. Tried to escape it.
wish I still had the thing in my hand, but I mean, of course I wouldn't. That makes sense. Whoa. Oh shit! Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I need to get out of, like, the other planet's uh, gravity first. Uh, landing gear damage, whatever. Where to next? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I'm just not done with any of the places I've been so far. But I want to, I know there's more here on Brutal Hollow that I want to, I want to get to that dome. And that I found kind of like a, an easy way to the underground. I want to check that out. Like right here. Although I actually still don't know where that little... Oh god. Can you land on the... You know what? That's what we're doing. Can, can we land on this one? Is this a smart thing? Looks like it's all lava. Okay. That was a great waste of time. Oh, fuck. Hey! We did it. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, there's something up top. Oh... Something up there, too. Okay. All right. There we go. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reasons objects in this grove are behaving in quantum matter. Quantum manner. They're behaving in a quantum manner? Do the trees move? Oh, they do. I hate it. Okay. All right. All right. Only other object we've observed displaying this type of quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine moon's behavior in this grove are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it is, isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces, calling out from Giant Steep to the Timber Hearth and Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. I don't believe you. Does the sun make a noise? I thought there was another shard, and I just realized the note's the same one that just moves around because it hates me. All right, we need to get inside here. That's what we got to do. That's what we're doing right now. Because we got to the bottom before. And then... I think we just fell into the black hole. So we need to get to, like, the middle of this thing. Why does he tell me to launch the scout in here? I get it. Weird. Alright, so I want to try to bust my way out of this early. Did not help. Son of a bitch. Huh. 
Oh, so it does reset every time you, uh, every time you, you loop. That's frustrating. Huh. What a mystery. Still the same thing. Okay, son of a bitch. <laughs> I ran out of ran out of boost. Because basically, I need to like. Not do this. Not do this. Not do this at all. <laughs> I want to go to a different planet. Let's go. Well, let me look at my log again. Good night, Ted. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, let's look at the log. We did update some things. That's good. <clears throat> There's more to explore in the Hanging City. Of course there is. There's a ton there. Wait, right, hold on. Meltwater District raises and lowers a Black Hole Forge. Black Hole Forge, won't you come? Timber Hearth. Hourglass Twins. Hourglass Twins, because one is leaking sand into the other. That's... That's cool. I like that. Um, you know what? Actually, I want to find... So that's the harmonica. That is, uh, Brittle Hollow. Esker. Unknown. Huh. Every time. The harmonica was that piece of Bramble here. Left bumper is how you, you do a spin. Okay. Oh, God! Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're actually fine. Oh, God. We're fine. Does it still say unknown, even though I'm right here looking at it? I thought that I could, like, mark it as... Yeah, I think I know, kind of, almost what that might be. Apparently not the case. Oh, what if... What if... What even if... Okay, so... Boo! Okay, we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna take our clothes off. Oh, but we can't take a picture of it. Oh. Can we? No, we cannot. Hmm. I don't know, we'll figure that out sometime. 
What? Yeah, let's actually just see what else is here on the on the timbery hearth. Like, what the hell is that? What is that? Oh god! Oh god! Anyone you can walk away from, right? Oh god! That almost just like went right off in the. It's fine. Well, look at this. This is stuff. Mining site to be. It's a. Uh, they haven't finished it yet. It's under construction. It's a mining site to be. Okay, I know that was the thing I just opened, but I want to see what this is. This is probably the footpath in. Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> Alright. Oh, that was almost bad. It's a secret behind a waterfall. Lovely. My ship is about to go down the waterfall, so that's fun. Oh. Oh. Cool. I feel like if I had, I had hit the water there, it would have pushed me straight down. Which I may want eventually, but I don't want to go down quite yet. Oh, nice. I'm still amazed by how much the ore the Ashburn project requires. Isn't one the ore required? Oh, oh god, words. Isn't this the order for remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? Completed towers have seen them quite large. No material for those towers are all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off chamber inside Ash Twin's core. After sealing all entrances, I hope they planned accordingly. <laughs> I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making buns, Colas. How else would he improve? It's funny. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearts or for only constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh. oh. Excuse me. Let's look over here first before going... In the uh, in the warp beam. Oh, Ash Twin projection stone. Probably don't. What do you do here? Oh, what the fuck! Thanks, I hate it. Well, that's cool. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh, Yarrow. Ah, Yarrow wasn't the name of the Warp Core. Yarrow's the name of a person. So it still tracks with that. They're named after a... Named after plan. Oeno. My gratitude for the latest shipment to Oeno. This order should be last one needed for Twin Ash Project. This is exciting news. I can, can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flaw in opening the shell that protects, protects Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Once we finish shell that seals off set, why did that waterfall stop? That's weird. Huh. <laughs> Once we finish shell that seals central chamber, We'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. 
Cool. Hey, I'm taking this with me. This is mine now. So this is gonna go up. Nope, it's gonna shoot me to the side. What the hail? Hail in the hail. Why is he doing this? There is no up, I see. So there's got there's got to be another way. There's gotta be another way into this. Oh, I can go down over there. Got it. Oh, that's right, the uh, the waterfall too. They use like the uh, these little teleporter beam things to as conveyor belts essentially. What happens if I just like do that? Am I under? Oh, I'm underwater. That's crazy. I see. Okay. These are like the uh, the mining tunnels that they were digging. That's cool. Okay, we need to find like something down here worth looking at though. Ow. We need a way to reverse the polarity of these things first. Oh, it's just coming straight out of the... Oh! It looks like the little warp tube is actually what's causing the mining. Like, they just aim that directly at the wall, and it just starts eating rock out of it. That's super cool. What is the point of all this? I'm sure there's a point. I don't know what it is yet. That's crazy looking. Alright. Um, there. Oh, I almost lost that. Okay. Is there a place to store this stone? I can't even put it down anywhere in here. All right, we still always have a rock in our hands. No 
was a neat little, neat little exploration. Oh, oh, oh. Here's their teleporter pad. Is that the, the sun exploding that I see? No, it's up there. Okay. Come on, get... Seriously, you can't step over that stone? So that's just like the path leading into that waterfall that I flew into instead. I'm sure there's more stuff to look at, but there's always going to be more stuff to look at. Is that there we go? This this uh like look straight down mode to land. It's the way to do it. Okay, so I have to approach this without actually, like, losing sight of it, because otherwise it warps somewhere else, and then I can't do that. Okay, cool. Now it's a tree! Fuck that. Okay. I thought that my, uh, like, ship's log... What the hell? In the ancient sh glade, it's always dark. The quiet shade across old bark. It's actually pretty creepy sounding. I'm glad that my ship's log is not affected by the time loop. In, in the memento of this game, my ship's log is Guy Pierce's body. Chert's research notes. Prop research notes property of chart. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere in the grove. Similar to the signal emitted by Quantum Moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one's available to land on it. I'm definitely not gonna land on it. Yeah, that sun's about to go. Lock onto the sun. Oh, you can't autopilot to the sun, though. That's too bad. Jesus, where am I going? It doesn't matter. The sun's about to explode. Uh, I don't even know. I can't even make up my mind where to go. Let's see if I can find. Because I have one of those twins uh, rocks in my pocket right now. And I think it's ash. Is it ash or ember? I can't tell right now. Oh god. 
I fucked up. Come on, go, 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 go. Align, align your flight trajectory faster. Why, why is the autopilot bailing me? There we go. <laughs> we don't need to decelerate yet. Come on. That's coward talk. This is how you land on a planet. Whoa, shit. <laughs> okay, I know. I know. I know what I did. It's fine. Hell yes. Let's go. All right. Uh, I landed on the worst possible part of this planet. Let's get out of here. I landed on the part of the planet that's getting smaller and harder to get off of. Okay. Just gotta let gravity take over that one. Ash twin. We're on the right one. Okay, we just need to find a find a pad. It may not matter. Ow. Oh, there's a scroll. Take the way down. Okay, alright. I, I need a place to put this, this rock. Hello, have you found any places to put rocks? Have you seen a rock hole anywhere? It may or may not be square. ships there. That door's closed. We've entered orbit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. We've actually entered orbit. Oh, there we go. Oh my god! <laughs> Broke every leg. All both of them. Oh, Lord. So these, these fast travel things do not stay unlocked. Uh, post loop. Ow, 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 I need to stop doing that. He said, immediately doing it again. There we go. Hello, I would like a place to put this, please. Oh, that's a new spot. I haven't been here. This loop. No, no. What? I'm sorry, what? These are like actual know my corpses, not not skeletons. Oh, 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 that's where I want to go. Oh, hell yes. This is new stuff and we're about to die. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you doing the sun station? Sun station! Presently, my assessments that our planet either fail or not. Uh, I don't think it's funny. Oh god, oh god. Uh, 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 I think some gas. Okay, no, they just, just. Okay, sun stations, construction. Great. Alright, we're just looking at important stuff. Ow, fuck! We're gonna die. Oh shit, there's, there's cactuses everywhere. Oh god, we need to somehow level up to not get killed by cactuses. Oh, the sun is like immediately. Oh, okay. Oh, I see where we are now. 
Okay. Wait, why is this, the scouts on the planet? That's funny. Ow, 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 shit, fuck, okay. If I touch a cactus, I'm gonna die, I know it. Actually, if I go too fast around like this too, I'm also gonna die. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, actually I want to check out check out this in my few remaining seconds of life on this planet. Okay. Oh well, we're gonna die somehow. Ow shit. Quick, 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 what's up here? Nothing. Get in the hole! Oh, it's beautiful. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. That's that was a good that's a good run. That was a good uh that was a good loop. Yeah, I did a lot on that one. All right. I think that's actually going to do it for me tonight. I know it's, uh, it's an hour early and I'm sorry, but um, I'm really tired and not feeling too great. So we're going to we're gonna stop and I'll be back again um, next week. More uh, Hard Space and more Outer Wilds. And I actually think I might have another game that I'm going to play next week, too, um, on a third night. So, yeah, we'll see about that. It's going to be really fun. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.